another one. It's another one. English majors, we still here, man. Hey, they say if you can survive in turmoil, more than likely you can thrive. So while everything falling down, English majors, we still here. We in the building. They don't know we in the building. I think that's the only reason we are able to be in the building. Because we in the building when ain't nobody else in the building, man. Work hard when ain't nobody else looking. What's good? Everybody in here good? We need a sound off. We need everybody. State your names, gangster, because they're going to keep asking in the comments. We're doing a whole episode to address y'all in the comments, man. Y'all is, y'all is out of control, man. Y'all wild, especially the conspiracy theory one. They just ran off with the stuff. I know Sinbad. I was with him when he went through the wormhole. Wow. Hey, I didn't know we was going to be that divisive. I'm here to bring us together in unity, in unison. All right? Who we got in here, man? Everybody, everybody, come on, man. We got the mic. Where the mic at? Do we need to pass the mic? Sonny, set it off. You got it in your hand. She got the mic. Come on. Say, no. Everybody, we good, everybody. There you go. Talk to Yeah. Yeah. Pass that thing around, man. Yeah, we in there, man. We got Jeff Taylor in here. Oh, this is Jeff. I don't want to just limit you to the board, but that's all I see you do. <laughs> I'm not saying that's all he does, but that's all I see him do. <laughs> nah, he do a lot of shit, man. Come on, Najee, come on. Yeah. Greg, come on, you got, no, nah, I need a little more, a little more. Oh, I see why. Yeah, yeah, he, yeah, they gave him a short microphone leash. That's why you couldn't hear him. Come on, let's go. We got one more, right? Debo, you do you? You didn't say your name? Oh yeah, you touching the camera, you supposed to. Yeah, see, he just, that's how you do it. Repeat what was said. That's what they do when they running for office. Let's go, y'all. <laughs> Ain't that what they, look, we back, man. You can see the board. The beautiful thing is you already know what we on. Black cinema. It's beautiful, isn't it? Look at what you, Jeff went crazy with this, man. He done hit all the classic black show. Look, man, black cinema, I don't think it gets enough credit for how impactful it is for pop culture period right some of the best things have come out of black cinema some of the most quoted things some catchphrases slang remember when white people were saying bye felicia real late <laughs> they ain't start saying it until they started playing friday on tbs you understand what i'm saying but they got that from us they got that from the movie so we Paying salute, homage, respect, however you want to call it, to black cinema, man, here on English Majors. Let's get on the board, man. Let's go. They call me Mr. Tibbs, slapping a white man. That must have been the most gangster thing in film. <laughs> what was that, 1960-something? 1970-something? 1960, probably like the end of the 60s. You got Sidney Poitier, right? In the heat of the night, the movie, not the show. Snapping on a white man, telling him, call me Mr. Tibbs. You know what I'm saying? It's 1967. Okay, bet. Yeah. Slapping a white man on camera? Before the voting rights. Well, a bunch of Negroes probably got arrested leaving the movie theater for cheering. <laughs> he probably slapped that white man. They threw popcorn and threw their hands up. Woo! That's what I'm talking about. Soon as they got outside, sir, come here. Put your hands behind. They took them all to jail. Anybody who saw the movie had to go to jail. That's what black cinema was. The movie was so good, you went to jail to see it. I'm going to go see it tonight. I ain't going to get out till in the morning. But I'm going to see it. I'll tell y'all when I get out. Come on, man. What we got? We going to keep going around. We going this way. Come on, man. We got JJ, Good Times. Like I said, that's a good little, little simplistic verse. If he was white, that would be Gilligan. We would know that is Gilligan. Then we got the Fresh Prince with the guy that, you know it's the Fresh Prince, because the knees, I don't know why you made the knees so prominent. <laughs> <laughs> 
Shout out Will Smith, man. Hey, Fresh Prince was one of the dopest shows. You you watched that with your whole family. Good times. Um, I I want to say everybody like good times, but I could see everybody not liking good times. The times wasn't good. You know. Now don't get me wrong. I've enjoyed episodes, but I've it, my situation wasn't that fucked up. If I was having as bad of times <laughs> as they was having on good times, I may not enjoy the show either. That's one of them shows that make you break your TV. What you mean give the money back? These motherfuckers crazy. Like, that's what I'm saying. So good to, I, I mean, it's a classic. Don't, don't, don't get me wrong. Don't get me wrong. Everybody involved, we rock with good times. You know this. But I'm just saying. That show was, boy, they wrote extra hard to keep them in, in, in the ghetto, didn't they? <laughs> they would write them out the ghetto and then somebody come back. It's like, it's like the script stopped at the top of the network like, no, let's see. She marries a football player. He's going to go to the NFL, break his leg. <laughs> the motherfucker good at pool. He can win the money back. Florida ain't having it. A lot of shit just came out of Florida, ain't having it. What's this, man? The little box with the, what's that, Alvin Ailey? That's a Kung Fu movie? Boy, living single, <laughs> hey, man, hey. Hey, either that's the laziest shit in the world, or that's the most creative shit in the world. You talking about when she be like, in the 90s kind of world. Yeah. That was Big Liz. Yeah. That was Big Liz from Rap City, yeah. Jumped up and kicked. Ba ba da ba da ba ba. Man, that shit. Okay, you could have just put the end up. You could have put the end up where the lady grabbed the windmill. <laughs> Woo! Put that bar and shit. The end of the show mattered too. How your show ended? Shows just go off now. That shit just go off. No credits. Who made it? You don't give a fuck. <laughs> Remember they used the end. The show would end. The show used the end and begin. It began with a song. These shits don't begin with no song. Just be a sound. Don't, don't, then it come on. <laughs> <laughs> These shows used the end. Remember Martin used to fly away with the ears? The you go boy? Come on, man. Yeah, you don't remember that? Climb the ladder, then fly away with the ears. Man, come on. Y'all ain't old enough. Y'all don't remember Sidhu Busset. Good dog. You don't remember that shit? You remember the one show? I'm never working for this guy again. <laughs> <laughs> it was good shows, man. Remember Quincy Jones shit show that big African statue at the end? Yeah. I remember, look, Martin, you got Martin on there with the dog. Come on, man. Yeah, you killed these. You, you went in. Martin the classic. Martin just, it's it, it stand the test of the time. Um, if you asking me, they did the most with the least. Or, and I don't want, I, don't, don't get me wrong, when I say they did the most with the least, what I'm saying is you'll never get that caliber of cast together that operates at that high level for comedy where everybody is firing within their role and bringing something to the table and ready when they called on. Martin is a hybrid show. I don't care what you say. You can say what you want to say. Martin is a hybrid sitcom uh, sketch show. It's a hybrid sitcom sketch show. And I argue with you to show me another show that did it. Even half as good as Martin did it. You got people playing characters. You got Martin playing characters. Then you got comedians that come in regularly and are a part of the universe that give you a whole little character. In the, come on, man. Bro, man. Angry man. Hustle man, he had all the mans. Before they was making all the Iron Man, Superman, he had all the mans. You don't remember Angry Man? Sit your ass down. <laughs> hey, chill out, Angry Man. <laughs> what, the drunk lady? I ain't drunk, I'm on medication. <laughs> yeah. Miss Jerry, old ass, always ready to fight, what? Kenji, we know Dragonfly Jones sidekick. Do you understand? So when I say he did the most with the least, he didn't rely on 
a lot of money on the budget of the set. Wasn't no whole special effects budget. My man had, <laughs> he had a stuffed dog and made it one of the most memorable scenes, man. Look at the classic sitcoms from back in the day that originated, and it's, it's, it's pretty much all the same setup. You got where the people live, the main characters. You got a place for them to hang out. You got the main characters, love interest place, and that's about, you got about four or five rotating sets. Look at I Love Lucy, look at the Honeymooners. It was just a set and people putting in the work and it came out at Martin, man. Uh, oh yeah, and just, just so you know, uh, most of the best sitcoms, all the best sitcoms, comedian. So, you know, just think about that when you, or, or not. <laughs> you know, you wanna keep making media, do, it, do, do you. You know, you might be happy in the middle, but if you want to hit, you know where to go, man. Eddie Murphy, coming to America. What else need to be said, man? Coming to America, still a classic. Come on. Classic, quotables. First movie I remember my parents taking me to see. I could be wrong, but it's the first movie I remember because I saw them titties on screen very early in the movie. The lady, the royal bather, comes up out the water. The titties are out. I saw the titties. My mama tried to cover my eyes. It's too late. I just saw the titties. And I didn't know I had a photographic memory when it comes to titties. But I can recall those titties several years afterwards. Sometimes I just put on a movie and I'd be like, yep, that's what I, I it's etched in my brain. I still want some royal bathers. That was a, just a good ass movie, man. That was, y'all wasn't balling like Prince I King. Nobody even, motherfuckers say they ball like Donald Trump. Motherfuckers say they got it like big meat. Motherfuckers say a bunch of people, but you don't never really hear no motherfuckers say I was doing it like Prince Akeem and them. Motherfucker had an elephant walking around the backyard. Hello, bye bye. <laughs> <laughs> that motherfucker petted an elephant like it was a pit bull. All right. Don't be a menace. Homie the Clown, shout out the Waynes Brothers, period, man. Without the Waynes Brothers, we ain't gonna have some of the most iconic shit. Nobody do a parody movie the way they do it. Uh, TV show's crazy. Wouldn't even have the halftime show if it wasn't for In Living Color. You understand? In Living Color went hard one year and said, hey, we gonna, when halftime come on, we gonna do a special. Everybody gonna turn in, watch us, and go back to the game. That's exactly what happened. So all those advertising dollars that people paid for to advertise on the Super Bowl, which you know the Super Bowl is the highest ad price you can pay, they ads didn't get seen because folks was over there with Homie the Clown and them, you understand what I'm saying? <laughs> Laughing their ass off, watched all them commercials on Fox, then came back to the game. The next year, I think they had Michael Jackson at the game. And it's been, it's, we got to have something at halftime that people want to see, somebody people want to see, because otherwise, so, man, salute. I like anybody that break the game, man. I like anybody that they got to come up with new rules for. Yeah. Shout them out, man. Wayne's brother's big, man. <clears throat> got a new show, too, Damon. I think Damon and, and Damon Jr., too, so. They still in it. Heavy. Sanford and Son, come on, man. What need to be said, man? Spinoff, no, not spinoff, it's a remake, British show, Steptoe and Son, right? Came in, put Red Fox in the role. Come on, man, just let Red cook. Lamont old hating ass. <laughs> Lamont did a lot of hating to be living at his house with his daddy, dog. like, hey, Pop, you should, maybe you should shut the fuck up, Lamont. <laughs> Your pops is old. Pops, why you eating that pork? Because he's trying to die to get away from you. <laughs> you hate on him when he got a woman. You, you just, boy, you see he about to have a heart attack every episode. Let him ride. Lamont was a hating ass motherfucker, man. <laughs> Think about all the time. Look at, I, somebody make a spreadsheet. Lamont versus Florida Evans. Who hated the most? on the progress of the household. And I guarantee you it's gonna be neck and neck. Uh, what do we got, Friday, come on, man. Friday, Friday after next, next Friday. We want another one, what they gonna call it? Last Friday, they gonna call it? That's what they gonna, we, ain't, we just not gonna get it. 
Man, you, it, like, if it's because they running out of Friday titles, we're not worried, bro. Like, don't think, like, you, well, damn. We did Friday. We did next Friday. We did Friday after next. I guess all we got left, no, Friday before last. <laughs> this Friday coming up. <laughs> Four Fridays from now. Friday after next. Is that? No, they had next Friday. They had Friday after next. Okay. Well, then you can have last Friday of the month. Don't nobody, look, man. We still ain't had a first Friday. We had a Friday, but we didn't have a first Friday. Just come on, man. Friday the 13th. That's going to be the shit. The horror movie one, when they just, Ice Cube, holla at me, man. I know you busy with the big three. Just let me give it, I got it, man. Let a nigga work the Friday of Earth. Let me run it. I got it. No, classic, man. Love the Fridays, man. It was one of the movies that just, it made you feel like you was really there. It's kicking it. I feel like uh, anybody that, that do anything comedic, owe oh, a, uh, a level of respect to Friday just because of how real they made stuff and how it felt like an environment that you was actually in, man. You know, it was in California, but it felt like it could have been anywhere. Come on, superhero, Black Panther, rest in peace, Chad with Bozeman, that dude, rest in peace, man. Rest in peace. Played every prominent black person Throughout history, in the span of about six years, the whole time he dealing with his own problem, his own health concerns. So shout out him, man. What he was, Jackie Robinson, Thurgood Marshall, James Brown, Black Panther. Come on, I know I'm missing some more, too. He did a lot more, too. But yeah, just James Brown and Black Panther, that's enough. That's two different accents. Don't worry, I never freeze. And then the motherfucker goes, hey, man, come in here. <laughs> it's a man, <laughs> What? If that ain't range? You think he ever slipped up while he was in the Black Panther costume and started talking like James <laughs> Brown? <laughs> that no, ah, uh, fit in the song. <laughs> Got the snap. I'm about to snap. Rest in peace, bro. For real, man. Hella impact. The MCU wouldn't even be where it is the way it was without you. A lot of black people came and started rocking with the MCU because of them Black Panther movies, man. You understand? So, shout that out. And we got to shout out Blade because wouldn't be no MCU if it wasn't for Wesley Snipes putting on them goddamn fangs and goddamn getting a little high top fade with a leather jacket. You laughing. You used to try to dress like Blade, didn't you? <laughs> you was all about vests and, and, and long, three-quarter length leather. Three-quarter length leather. Wilson's leather used to hate to see you coming. He was at Wilson's leather in the mall. I ain't never seen nobody buy no Wilson's leather out the mall. <laughs> Devo be in that bitch. Y'all ain't got nothing that come close to the floor. I think I need a three-quarter length. <laughs> You wanted to dress like Blade, but you couldn't afford the black one, so you had to just wear a brown one. So you kind of look like. <laughs> <laughs> he looked like a mix between Blade and the Tuskegee Airmen. It's cool. It was cool. All right, man, hold on. We got, and they did my man wrong, too, in Star Wars. Shout out um, John Boyega, bro. dope. Been a fan since Attack the Block. Dope actor. They gave him the lightsaber in the preview, in the first look when they brought him back, and then he ain't get no more lightsaber. Let us use the force, man. Come on, Samuel L. Jackson, the only black one who, who used the force? Who else had some force that was black? Uh, the last saber, he got canceled. Uh, Muhammad Ali. 
That's why it got canceled. They don't want to. And, and we got the force. Michael Jackson told you, keep up, because the force don't stop. Don't stop till you get enough. That was the force. Listen to that song. He talking about Star Wars. Watch the video. He dancing in the galaxy. Power Rangers, we got one black ranger. Come on, man, you know, he used to break dance. He got a terrible hairline, too, in the, in the shows. Let, let, let's celebrate black barbers being on set now. <laughs> let's celebrate that. Because they just, man, I said, no, they should never line you up. You got lined up and he went in an arch? <laughs> you feel that wrong, you feel it wrong on your face. You should, you should. When he's here and that thing is sideways, like you should feel violated. That's crazy. I said, did he get his hair cut with toenail clippers? Who would do this? But he used to be on a Zach, wasn't that his name? On the, the, the Black Power Ranger? And what was it? A mastodon. See? I remember. Then we got LeVar Burton from Star Trek. Was it Jordy? Jordy LaForge with the little thing. I used to think that shit was cool. You know what I'm saying? I grabbed my mama's goddamn uh, hair thing and I put that bitch on. I couldn't see, but I said, he can't either. So. I felt like him, you know what I'm saying? And then, and then I, she probably whooped my ass for playing with her shit. Cause you take the little thing and you put it down and now you, you feel like that. We got Spike Lee? Come on, do the right thing. You, you just, you, went, you had to put the X on there. We wouldn't have knew who it was otherwise. <laughs> we would not have known otherwise. I thought the X went with the Power Ranger. I said, uh oh, <laughs> he got a target on him. Dwayne Wayne, come on man. And then we got Urkel, man, Jaleel White. That show was not called Family Matters. I know it was, but it wasn't. Your grandma would ask you if you wanted to watch it. She didn't say you want to watch Family Matters. She asked you if you want to watch Urkel. So I rock with everybody on the show, and I realize y'all feel like he came and stole the show. He did. He did. So don't get mad at us when we come up to you and you Eddie Winslow, <laughs> and we say, hey, boy, wasn't you on Urkel? Nigga, I was on Family Matters, man, look. You know what the fuck we talking about. Don't, don't do that. Don't do that. I'm on House of Pain. I play Peanuts. Sometimes people call me Pookie. Do I, do I flip out? The other character that I be with all, most of the time is Pookie and Peanuts, so I don't flip out when a motherfucker call me the wrong shit. And you, it, I'm glad you saw the shit. So that's all I'm gonna say. Just know y'all was on Urkel. Don't feel bad. We did them all. I think we in there. Hell of a job on the board, man. Good job. It's almost like you did this one in advance. Almost like it's been waiting. <laughs> did you have this in your mind? How, how did it? I didn't even see you draw it today. He coming in early, people. That's what's. That's, that's, I, that's what I like, man. English may just get here and be studious. We come in. Hey, right, let's go. All right. Oh. Yep, we back, man. Black cinema. Y'all see it. The boys look amazing. Where do we start, man? Where do we start? Let's start at where black cinema came from, man. We used to not be able to be in stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? We had white people with the black face on being us. Then came along, we got to be us. Sometimes we still had to wear the black face just to be in the shit. Ain't that a bitch? And y'all be thinking shit far away. It's not. Old girl, um, Wizard of Oz. The year before, she just did a movie where she was dancing in blackface. Yeah, the year before they did the Wizard of Oz. You know what I'm saying? But look at that, we came back around with the Wiz. Then we come back with the Wiz. But we, I don't know though, the Wiz a little. First of all, Diana Ross, that's who it was, right? Yeah. Grown as hell. If I remember, Dorothy was a child. Diana Ross 
was a 38-year-old school teacher, <laughs> if I remember the story correctly. See, some of y'all don't remember the songs when they ain't in costume, because it was a whole Soul Food Sunday song with the grandmama before she even went to Oz. A lot of y'all watch the shit on TV, and it shows. They had to change it. Uh oh, can we get it? But that's what we do, man. We always gonna come through. And don't look at it like we just make a black version of they shit. Cause we could have did that a lot more. We could have did it a lot more. We didn't. But we could have. But they make white versions of our shit. Am I wrong? Friends, living single. We need to compare. We're going to compare the women, the dudes, the relationship dynamic. They stay in the same building or right across from each other. Everybody stays. Come on, man. First of all, who the fuck live around their friends? <laughs> if you live around your friends, you're not going to be friends with them no more, no? Huh? <laughs> Get the fuck away from me. I need to know you coming over before you. You understand? If you live near your friends, cool. But I don't think you live near all your friends. You live near one friend. These motherfuckers were upstairs and across the street. They could see in Max's apartment from across the street. Shout out Max, man. I don't think she got enough credit. Her and Kyle used to go at it, and Kyle was talking like down on her like she wasn't. But Kyle was trying to fuck. He was acting like Max wasn't shit, but you was trying to fuck. <laughs> she had that little mystical hairstyle. You was trying to fuck. She had to, welcome to the Good Burger, home of the Good Burger, and you was trying to fuck Kyle Barker. <laughs> Weren't you trying to fuck Kyle Barker? Yeah, yeah. But I like them dynamics on show. That stuff you don't really see no more, man. You know what I'm saying? Not everything got to be a romantic. It ain't romantic from the beginning. Where we at? What else we got? Talked about them, us taking their story. What else we done flipped? We done made a black version. We made a black version. A lot of y'all, sometimes we got we to gotta go with nostalgia, too. This is a nostalgia episode, man. Y'all remember the older shows? Y'all remember Mama's Family? White people show? Yeah, that's Mama's family. The black version, Medea. <laughs> Am I bullshitting? Ain't it an aggressive, elderly woman, matriarch of a household who don't take no stuff? Come on, man. Come on. Sometimes you just, it, it come out better. You know what I'm saying? Oh, that's Pollyanna. Yeah, yeah so they flipped it. Yeah. Y'all remember? Can, I, I, is that movie Lost Media? No, Can't nobody find Pollyanna. It ain't on Disney Plus or nothing. I remember Pollyanna was that, that man, come on, man. Little black girls was dressing like that to church for the next 12 years. You said what? Yeah, the plot's a little different, but it, it's close. It's close. <laughs> Miss Doubtfire was out of pocket. <laughs> Martin and Big Mama was out of pocket all the way. That's a crazy movie. That's a crazy movie. So a lot, look, what else we got, man? Uh, a lot of shows is the spinoffs, too. Because if it worked once, make it work again. Different world, we wouldn't have that without the Cosby Show. The Cosby Show went crazy. Y'all can act like it was never on if you want to. But it was. 
Now, he played the hell out of that fictional character. He played Dr. Huxtable. Dr. Huxtable was never found guilty on any charge. Now, that's when they try to do you in. They try to try you and the character you played. <laughs> you gonna do life and Dr. Huxtable gotta do 30 years. <laughs> God damn. Can we do them concurrent? No, they gotta be back to back, consecutive. I don't know, you see, what, you see what's going on? So I guess we can't, all right. Different world made people wanna go to an HBCU. People that never thought about going to college. Some people that, that should have never thought about going to college. Cause they thought Hillman was a real school. I'm trying to go to Hillman. Yeah, well you go, that's gonna be a long journey, my boy. <laughs> Cause you gonna have to found it first. <laughs> <laughs> you gonna have to staff it. <laughs> You have to get some buildings. It might start out as an online college. I swear, if they came out with a Hillman online college, I think people would enroll just to get the T-shirt. Y'all would go. Y'all would be in the Hillman. So let's work. Let's do that. This is a brainstorming session. If you want to graduate from Hillman College for one fifty, all in, you get your degree, T-shirt, and some Dwayne Wayne shades. <laughs> what? That is a bargain if I've ever seen one. 150 all in? Where you gonna get some flip-up glasses from right now? Exactly. Exactly. We got shit for y'all, man. That's how this shit gotta be. They got it. We need more merch from our black shows. Everything from pop culture got, got a t-shirt at the, at the, what, the little Spencer's, Gadzooks, <laughs> one of them stores, Hot Topic. Sonny be getting them Hot Topic tops, don't you? Buy one, get one, half off. I know. I seen you in there. I seen you. I remember. That's the thing, shows used to put you on, on the dope shit too. Sneaker game was crazy on Fresh Prince. Martin would, Martin would go crazy too. Yeah, what? Come on, man. Now, we, now half this show is just gonna be like, y'all remember. So just get prepared for that. Y'all remember New York Undercover? What? Ain't you think that how, I thought that's how life was. You put on some, some, some baggy kind of dressed up shit and go in a smoke field lounge and talk to a Spanish bitch and get into a gunfight and live in a loft with a fat ass elevator. Remember the big elevator come up? I was like, hey, are you not fucking? If she come up in a big elevator, you know what it is. But in New York Undercover used to come on jamming. You can't even see that shit now because all the artists they had on there, now you got to get, get the music clear. So if you don't know this, man, go look up New York Undercover, man. Dope as hell, black dude, Spanish dude, two police officers undercover, but it was every hip hop artist you ever could have met. I'm pretty sure the song, the show started off with a song by an artist, and most times I feel like it ended with one too, and most of the time it'd be the artist performing. You know what I'm saying? But they would put the real hip hop songs in there, so I think that's the whole, uh, super dope show, man, at, at the time. We don't get the dope shit no more, man. We don't get the dope shit. We was in that middle ground. The movies that didn't cost a lot to make, but made a lot. Hey, I don't know, man. The game to change. Every movie got to make a hundred mil now. Every movie, it costs a lot to promote a motherfucking movie. They love those success stories. They love to spend 40 and make 200. but they can't predict it. They can't control it. It's gotta be creator driven. So like I said, man, BET, boy, BET is, that is definitely black cinema, but 
as much as BET helped with shit, it fucked shit up too. BET came in kind of fucked up. I don't know if y'all know this. Like, even before I was on BET and watching this shit, older people would complain about BET being too loud. Like, it was literally the loudest fucking channel. Like, if, and if nobody remembers that, like, it was, and it's fucked up. Like, black people gotta be, like, you would turn to it, and it don't matter what your volume was on. That shit was way louder than the other channels. Would you, look it up. People used to complain. Man, y'all need to turn this shit down. It is down. <laughs> BET used to have some dope shit, and then they would have the bullshit. They started having less dope shit, less and less. They had the Teen Summit. That shit was cool, I think. What was the teens talking about? Exactly. What the fuck they know? <laughs> oh, you having a Teen Summit. They don't know shit. The summit can't be too high. <laughs> nah, it was a cool show. You got to see shit, people talk about shit. I feel like most of it was wear condoms. <laughs> I feel like that was most of the things of it. Put a condom on. And then motherfuckers always had the, the, the New York type accent. Well, that was 106 in Park, I feel like. 106 in Park. The audience was always heavy. 106 Apart was cool. It was best under AJ and Free, right or wrong? Yeah. Right? Yeah. No, you shaking your head. What, Lil Bow Wow? That's when you, <laughs> that's, that's, <laughs> and that's when you said, I think they really hit their stride. <laughs> Roxy and Terrence, I think they were going together, wasn't it? They? they was getting mad at each other, like, <laughs> <laughs> She, she, you mad like she ain't do the dishes. <laughs> AJ and Free were cool, though. They were cool. Like, they ain't try to overdo it. They ain't try to be young. See, everybody try to be young now. You got to be. Everybody want to be younger than they are. And if you stop thinking you that old, you won't have to be worried about how young you trying to fucking be. Be where the fuck you at. I'm glad I got this knowledge now. That's why I like AJ and Free. They would, you know, the shit would go crazy. But they felt like they was goddamn adults in the room. You know what I'm saying? It kept things in kind of order. I don't remember shit getting out of pocket, man. BET Comic View, great and terrible. <laughs> great. Put comedians in houses every night. Every night, a comedian that somebody may not have heard of can become their favorite comedian by seeing them for a few minutes every night, every other night, every day of the week, right? Terrible. You paid them $200 and they got no residuals and you ran the shit in perpetuity. You ran the shit relentlessly. You ran the season they was on. Then you compilated shit and put compilations together. Now you're running all that shit for that long. Good and terrible. The shit was good because you got to see people and they got to become household names and they got bigger platform and people wanted to see them in movies and he wanted to see them on shows and you was happy you could follow that journey this is before it was an internet this was where the only place you could get comedians from was uh evening at the improv or maybe somebody on a late night show great great terrible when you start making the compilations and you showing the comedians having terrible sets and you putting crickets over them. <laughs> or where you show all the comedians. Y'all don't remember that? Dog, they put your bad set up there, your set, they might even, I seen it where they might finesse you and cricket your setup. And I'm like, oh, that's I, the punchline of that works. They don't even show that. Terrible. 
They would show the comedians doing the same jokes, back to back, on top of each other, right? Was that good or terrible? I ask you, amazing shit, man. And I've talked to comedians that did it, man. Shout out Zoo Man. Zoo Man said he never cashed that first check, man. He had that check because he was getting money from other ways of doing comedy. Actually doing shows that actually paying you what they're supposed to be paying you. Never cashed a little $200 check. You understand? Shit crazy. Shit I think about, man. When we do it, it's different. I just hope we push everything with positivity, man. I want everybody to win. I'd rather for it to be great. Some people say it's got to be both. It's got to be great and terrible. No. No. That shit could be terribly great. Like the English major show. This is, this is awfully good. If I was British, that's how I'd say it. All right, what else we got, man? They used to say that too, it can only be one. You know, it can only be one black entertainer rocking at a time. Y'all think that's true? I don't know. I think, I think if you saying that's true, then that means you think it's only one type of black person and it's only at any given moment, one individual person that can capture that. That's crazy. It's all different types of black people, man. If we can have nuanced things in every other area, we can definitely have it in the black cinema. That's why I rock with Will and Martin. At the top of their game, at the top of their game, with Martin doing crazy ratings, with Fresh Prince doing crazy ratings, they come together. Most people, egos would have got in the way of that, man. Enough to do four movies? Egos would have got in the way of that. Because what they say is it can only be one. It can only be one, one at a time. They told them, they said, don't nobody, no, ain't nobody gonna go see all them, all that. Mm, no. You know, you know when they try to be racist without being racist? Nobody, that is, it's gonna be too much, it's gonna, it's gonna be too dark of a movie. <laughs> if it's both of you, I mean, how, I, I don't think the audience will see themselves in the character. That's how they, that's how they talk to it. You understand? It's not gonna travel well, which means they don't like niggas overseas. That's what you're trying to say, that's what you assume. But ask some people that went overseas. Now, depending on where they went, it could have been that. But a lot of people go overseas and say, hey, man, they don't feel like coming home. And Bad Boys damn sure a thing that seemed like it traveled worldwide. An action movie is an action movie, man. Hold on. Hold on. It's okay. It was supposed to be. Um, I know it was two white comedians. I want to say an SNL vehicle. Now I'm going to guess, but I could be wrong. I want to say it was, um, was it John Lovitz and Dana Carvey or something? Yeah. It was both them? Yeah. yeah. See, come on, man. Come on, man. John Lovitz and Dana Carvey. You're caught. Freeze <laughs> and give me a bag of Skittles. <laughs> and Dana Carvey, ain't that Ed Grimley? Yeah. And a pack of Fruity Bubblicious. <laughs> what? Would have been a different movie. But this is what they trying to tell you wasn't going to work. They was going to tell you this wasn't going to work, but that was. And we look at that like that sound crazy. First of all, man, John Lovitz ain't never been in no position to jump over no car. <laughs> like, slide across the hood? What? 
<laughs> what was the action gonna be? It must gonna be slapstick. These motherfuckers was using whoopee cushions. It had to be. Cause I can't see the action part. See? Sometimes the shit just make it better, man. What you call it wasn't supposed to be a black woman? Lisa from Saved by the Bell. Yup. Said she came in, killed the audition. Changed their mind. Maybe she can't, you know what I'm saying? And if it wasn't for her, we would have no representation in Bayside. Well, you wanted to be in Bayside a little bit, though. Wasn't nobody there, like, you would just see a few Negroes in the background. <laughs> Dumbass song playing. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Why the song always going off? What kind of shit is this? Do we have any good black teen shows like that? That's so Raven. That's so Raven. See, I, that was, I wasn't really on That's So Raven, but I know it was a big impact. That, okay, okay, the Disney gave y'all a lot of teen shows. So, like, my era, for me, the best we had, we would get, like, a My Brother and Me. You know what I'm saying? You remember My Brother and Me? You get it, you get it. Come on, Amanda Seals. Hit me. I remember that episode, boy. I remember that episode. He said, he said, he said, did you go up to him and say, hit me? And he said, yeah. He said, what happened? He hit me. <laughs> Joe was crazy, man. Yeah. All that, I don't know what was going on, but they was making a lot of little black shows from the Carolinas, because I think my brother and me was set in North Carolina. Gullah Gullah Island, that's South Carolina, right? That's all the, yeah. yeah. Benny Benya. <laughs> Boy, I would have shot the shit out of Benny Benya if I ever seen any type of motherfucking shit like this. Talking about he a polywog. Well, what the fuck he finna grow into? <laughs> Sister, sister was cool. Sister, Keenan and Kill was cool, man. We had a good little duo, man. That's why you hate the duos break up. That's how you woke up one day. First, Keenan and Kill break up. Now every day I wake up. They ain't got no more Nick shows. Shut up. That's crazy. Who else? Uh, hey, uh, you go all the way back, man. They just used to put a black black child with, with a white family. <laughs> Different strokes, Webster. I just uh, what's the other one? Give me a break. <laughs> hey, Nell Carter was singing her ass out on that theme song. Give me a break. Y'all seen all type of little shit, man. Hanging with Mr. Cooper used to go crazy. Shout out Mark Curry. Still funny as hell. I remember seeing the comedy special while he was doing Mr. Cooper, and he was cussing, and he had to tell people, I'm not Mr. Cooper. <laughs> that is a role. Like, yeah, I remember that shit. He ripped that bitch, too. Yeah, man. Shout out Mark Curry, man. Uh, like I said, all the best sitcoms is usually comedians. Smart guy was decent. Not gonna hate on smart guy. Yeah. Yeah. If Jason Weaver was on there, your sitcom was pretty much like, a lot of the heavy lifting was done. Yeah. Wasn't he on Thea? Yeah. Come on, man. You put Jason Weaver on that bitch, you supposed to get a season, at least. <laughs> at least, they ain't gonna cut you off mid-season. The rates start slipping, they be like, man, make him sing. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out Jason Weaver, man. You want your show to work, put him in there. <laughs> Omar, come on. What? He was on Wild and Crazy Kids, man. What? Wild and Crazy Kids? Was it nepotism or was he just good at being a wild and crazy child? <laughs> Don't take nothing away from that man, okay? Nepotism, because Cuba Gooden Jr., so they hired him on Wild and Crazy Kids. No, he had to show how motherfucking wild and crazy he was. 
You don't know what that audition was like. He had to go in there and show him he don't give a fuck. <laughs> he flipped their table over. <laughs> I don't need this shit. You know who my father is? I'm wild and crazy, motherfucker. <laughs> I went to the Wild and Crazy Kids live, man. Came to live. My mom, we had moved. She had moved to Knoxville. Her job had her there for like two years. We was up there, one shit popping. Terrible. I, we had moved from Florida, so now we up there, but they had the Wild and Crazy Kids, and it came like every summer. And one of them, I got selected, got the T-shirt and everything. I don't know where it is, though. Got the, that's all I wanted. All I wanted was the T-shirt, the wild and crazy kid. I don't want. I don't even got to do all that, <laughs> bro. I ain't got to do all that. Give me the T-shirt, man. Got me the T-shirt, man. Shout out to that, man. Had a lot of shows, man. But then you look back at Nickelodeon and it's all down. You know they got the documentary. But the industry out here, hey, hey, get this shit. Let's let's just go ahead and get it all the way clean out. Let's get it gutted from the ground floor. If you was wrong, go ahead and step down. That's what they doing. I don't know, man. Think about all these shows. We missing some good content now. 85 here good for it though, man. Just media didn't change, man. You know? All the spinoffs wouldn't have Family Matters without the one thing, Perfect Strangers. You wouldn't have the Jeffersons without All in the Family. You wouldn't have the Parkers without Moesha. Shout out Moesha and them. You wouldn't have the Parenthood. What that was a spinoff from? Oh, no, no. oh, okay. But yeah, you just remembering shows. You <laughs> Parenthood. No, he had a goddamn guest spot. The motherfucker was in the classroom or something. He, Parenthood, episode six, season two. <laughs> <laughs> nah, shout out Robert Townsend, man. Partners in crime, all type of shit. Man, we, we, look, we just shouting out everybody, man. We shouting out all the OGs. All, all the OGs, man. Denzel, Lawrence Fishburne, uh, my man, my man, rest in peace. Rest in peace, James Earl Jones. Come on, man. Dopest voice ever. Wouldn't have some of the, the most iconic moments in pop culture without that man's voice, man. Got to shout out all the directors, man. Spike Lee, John Singleton, rest in peace, man. What's my man's name? Oh, I can't think right now. It's a bunch of them, man. Fuqua, come on, man. What's my man out of, ah, Coogler, Brian Coogler. Yeah, so many, man. It's more, yeah, say it in the mic. Come on, man, don't do that, man. You stop playing, we ain't got a pause. You over there, we know what's on your brain. Motherfucker put his thighs out and came out today. Can't even think regular. You supposed to be working the boards. <laughs> he be getting over, he be over there on the boards about to, about to touch the knob and pause. Do you pause in your mind when you, when you got to work that little stick over there? Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right. Look, man, hey, we done went through it. Some of the best things out, man. You know how it is. Coming back. Next part. You know what time is for, man? We get to the office hours. Is it office hour time? All right, let's do it. We got questions. You said what? Oh, I'm going to get you something, man. Come on, man. The Wayne's made some of the best parody movies, hands down. What are we talking about, man? I'm talking about from the scary movies to the I'm gonna get you sucker to uh, the dance flick was crazy. Come on, man. Come on, man. And then Living Color just gave you classic stuff, but I'm gonna get you sucker, man. Come on, man. And it rang in every household in hood. 
I don't think it's I, th I, th I don't think it's too many white people that saw it that didn't get it or not find it fun. You know what I'm saying? Like. Yeah, like, even my white friends that I done talked to have, a, you know what I'm saying? Like, oh, yeah, that I remember, like, yeah, like, it's a funny parody across the motherfucking board. It's funny to everybody. And that's what we got to get with comedy, man. Stop all this, you know, this is, you know. I know the episode Black Cinema, but that's because we got to celebrate us from time to time. But if shit is funny, it's for everybody to enjoy. It don't matter who mainly starring in it. That's what we saying. So y'all know office hours, man. This is where I get to the questions. We get to the answers. I try to help people out the best I can. Once again, I'm not giving no answers. It's advice, all right? So it's questions and advice. So if I said I would give you an answer, I lied. Because if you can't find the answer, how can the answer be found? It's up to you. Before we go to, we need more uh, representation, black cartoons. Shout out Schoolboy Q, new video. Yeah, Lost Times. Lot of, lot of, lot of little clips from cartoons, and he made all the characters like a little dark content, and they rapping the words. The shit cool. The shit cool. Um, all right, so your first one is, um, what do you think the most What? And who said this anonymously? They trying to like, where did it come from? We can find you. You talking in the mic? Yes, I No pause. No pause. I saw you get ready. What do you think about a black horror movie where all the black folks are killing the white people before sunrise? Anonymous. Okay, so are they, what I think of a movie where that happens? Yes. Who am I to squash anyone's dream? <laughs> Do it. So the, so the black people killing all the white people when the sun go down. All right, then you call that shit sundown town, right? <laughs> And you reverse the sundown town trope of, you know, you know, y'all know sundown towns is where black folks can't go after dark. Like it was a real thing. It's still some places, shit, that if, if it's after dark, you better keep your ass moving. <laughs> you did, you call it sundown town, but it's a town where white people get caught out there when the sun go down and the black people caught. And the crazy part is the town don't even exist until the sun go down. You understand? It's one of them towns they tore down to build a highway or some shit and just rolled over the people. But that town don't exist no more. But when the sun go down, the town be there and it's black people and they killing you in black ass ways. <laughs> Motherfucker hit you with a Cadillac. <laughs> over and over. Just step on somebody's foot and get into a shootout. Get shot at a dice game. You don't even want to play dice. You just look down and dice in your head. That's what the fuck happened, man. I fuck with it. I'm not gonna take down nobody's dream. I support it. Sun downtown, man, call me. We'll 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 whip it up. Had that shit on Tubi before the summer. What else we got? All right. So your next question is Clayton. If you could pick a show or character to base a spinoff on, what would you pick and why? Kim from New York. Pick a character to base a spinoff on. Yep. A show or character. What would you pick and why? Kim from New York. Oh. Um, I don't know, man. I'd appreciate a spinoff of anything I'm on where I can still be on it. If you want to do a Hawkeye spinoff, put me on there. <laughs> you want to do a Peanut and Poogie spinoff on House of Pain, put me on there. Matter of fact, I need to be spun off. <laughs> Somebody spin me off. 
No, no Diddy. Pause. <laughs> Ain't no baby oil. <laughs> oh, y'all don't like it when we talk about Diddy, huh? <laughs> what Diddy dumb Diddy do? <laughs> what the fuck, man? Can't be too ready to have sex. That's one thing about it. Best way to look like a creep is, is too prepared to fuck. Yeah. You wore a condom over there. You out your fucking mind. <laughs> you deserve to be taken down. Thousand bottles of baby oil. God damn, man. Why is it still called baby oil? We don't even use that shit for babies. I'm pretty sure we figured out that's the worst shit to put on a baby. Now these motherfuckers more slippery than they already are? They already can't walk good, cover them in grease. <laughs> Let's look into that. Follow the money. Johnson & Johnson. You got something to do with it, too. You know what this baby will be used for. You continue to make it. I just, hey, we want justice. We want what's righteous. If you've been doing wrong, then, hey, you probably going to get done wrong. Where we was at? Where we at? We had more questions. Excuse me. Don't, look, man, I'm not going to act. I see what's going on in the world. And just know, if he did it, he didn't, he didn't, he did it, but he didn't just, Start do like it was already being done. It was a league already existing. I don't think you just get money and come up with, you know what I'm saying? Human traffic baby oil operation. <laughs> That's how they was trafficking the people. They put a lot of baby oil on them and they was just sliding them. They was sliding them down chute straight in. Motherfuckers was moving so fast with all that oil on them. Could never catch him. They said he's slippery. It's a slippery slope. What Blaine said, motherfuckers always trying to ice skate uphill. <laughs> hey, man. We back at it, though. You got a letter. What's the letter? Check your mailbox. Wow. Is a, is a letter in there? Yeah. I have more concerns. Because <laughs> who the fuck got through the gate to get in here to put some shit in the mailbox? Why is it in here? Once again, a mailbox is supposed to be outside. That's how you get the mail in the mailbox. Ain't no poll. <laughs> you made so much extra work for the mailman. He got to stop the truck. That's why he was out there smoking a cigarette. <laughs> what the fuck? Why would they put the mailbox <laughs> inside? Crazy part was, Sonny opened the door for him and wouldn't take the letter. <laughs> <laughs> the mailbox is right this way. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> that man is going to quit. <laughs> <laughs> It's a real letter in there. Wow, okay. All right. Let's see. People really write them. No postage. No postage. <laughs> Shout out to the motherfucker that writes a letter, delivers it themselves. I don't like dealing with a middleman. <laughs> Stamps is, that's for chumps. If I got something to say, I'll take it down there my goddamn self. Shout out to you. You freedom fighter of letter writing. <laughs> Boy, you are an abolitionist. You are one of the original great debaters. You're a gentleman or a gentlewoman and a scholar. We appreciate you. All right. Let's see. What's up, Clayton? Big fan of the show. In talking about black TV movies, I think about black actors that I thought were really gonna pop, but never really blew up beyond the show they starred on. Who are some actors who you look back on and think they should have blown up? Thanks, man. Um, I don't know, I mean, 
I guess maybe my definition of blowing up is different. You know what I'm saying? Because if, if you had a show, I think that that's the blow up. You know, that's a pretty big blow up. I don't know, you know, going from shows to movies, it's not super common. You know, some people are able to do it. But um, let's see, somebody. I mean, Rock was crazy in it, you know what I'm saying? You don't see Rock in a lot of, you don't see Charles S. Dutton in a lot of roles that aren't like supporting characters or whatever, but he kills it in whatever he's in. And Rock was a whole era, a whole little show, man. Then he started doing it in front of the live studio audience. Then they had the drug dealer come on there, played by Clifton Powell. And Rock grabbed him and choked him on the episode. And I think he really choked him. And I think Clifton Powell might have had to talk to him afterwards, man. Like, man, hey. That's, that's the first time Clifton Powell turned into Pinky. Look, nigga. You ain't gonna be grabbing me all over my shit. Good episode. Heavy D shot the drug dealer. Heavy D was the one little girl, daddy, that Rock and them adopted. But they used to have black TV shows with a little meaning, you know? Trying to talk about what's going on. Good shit. Who else? Stoney Jackson. Stoney to the blue. Remember on the episode of Martin? He said, I think I can get Stoney Jackson. <laughs> Stoney! That was a light-skinned dude and everything. He used to wear the fingerless gloves for no reason. Every time you saw the nigga, he was a chauffeur. I said, he must really do that in real life. That's an odd character to get typecast as. Who are you? The chauffeur. <laughs> It should sound official if you don't know what it is. Nigga, you mean the driver? Yeah. Who else should have blew? Um, you know what? My man from the Cosby Show. Shout out Bud. Remember he did Trippin'? I was glad to see that, and that movie was halfway decent, man. It was good. I ain't gonna say halfway decent, fuck that. That shit was good. Unexpectedly good is what I meant to say. I didn't think much going in. One, I probably only seen him as Bud, and then he in a like comedy like that, and I'm like, what? Oh, okay, yeah, it was dope. Who else? Who y'all got sitting there looking at me? <laughs> Motherfuckers sitting there nodding their head, man. Y'all don't know who I'm talking about. Google these people. Y'all just, yep, I remember. You don't know. Fucking just nodding their goddamn heads. Mm hmm. <laughs> I know that I don't know what the fuck he's talking about, head nod. Mm hmm. I remember me saying, yep. No, you don't know. Who should have blew? Yeah. She has a real wide smile. She ghetto. She was Charmaine in something. In, she was Charmaine uh, in, in everything. World. Yeah. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Yeah, I feel like she, she could have been bigger because she was in a lot of stuff. Back she then. did a lot of stuff. She was on Malcolm and Eddie. Yeah. She was in Lean on Me. She could have been in more. Remember? Yeah. Mr. Clark don't believe in you because you don't take care of your responsibilities. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I like, I like her. Yeah. yeah. We do like her. She was good on Malcolm and Eddie. Smart guy? TJ yeah. Hendricks. <laughs> you know he was a fan. Yeah. God damn, man. They must say, yeah, TJ Henderson. You wanted, you wanted to sing the theme song. Craig, Craig and this bitch, Craig wanted to sing the theme song a little bit. Very clever. <laughs> He's a smart guy. <laughs> he is. <laughs> no, he was dope. <laughs> he 
He was dope. Smart guy. We talked about that. That was early. You thought he was going. You thought he was going to do some other shit. But that's what I'm saying. What is the blow up? Like I think these motherfuckers make a good living. He be in other shit. We might not see everything that these people are in. So I think sometimes like, hey, I don't know. Blowing up bigger is is it better? You could be in some big shit that don't pay good. But to each their own, however it go. You know what I'm saying? What else we got left? We got another one? Anybody else, I think, blow up? Y'all got questions? That's it? That's all the questions we got? Okay, good. All right. So, question before we get out of here, man. We talked about everything. We got to talk about the black cartoon characters. Shout out, Boondocks. Yep. Hands down. That's our goddamn Simpsons. You know how the Simpsons predict the future with the stuff? That's what the Boondocks did. I just wish we had more seasons. Think about how many seasons the Simpsons have. You, you know what I'm saying? It's a reason they got episodes where it look like they know what's going to happen. Because they have seen where stuff going. Probably in some rooms. You understand? Hearing different conversations. Shout out all the uh, little black boys that had the high top fade on every cartoon. It was the same little... <laughs> Black Top, uh, Gerald, Vince, Vince on yep. recess, recess. <laughs> the motherfucker from the Burger King Kids Club. Um, hey yep, Gerald on Hey Arnold. Um, hey, everybody, Disney. Kwame from Kwame. Captain Planet. They all the same little dude. They all the same little dude. Shout out to Wayne's with Wayne Head. Come on. Come on, man. Hammer Man. He had to talk his shoes. Used to dance. Boy, that was a little too much now. That was a little too goddamn much. Kid and Play had a cold ass cartoon. Yup. Kid and Play was supposed to be what you call it. Kid and Play was supposed to be Fresh Prince. Fresh Prince was supposed to be Kid and Play. You understand? Fresh Prince, Jazzy Jeff, was supposed to be in the Kid and Play movie thing. I could be wrong, but because Will... And, and, and uh, Jazzy Jeff made that song where it was like the Freddy, the Nightmare on My Street. I think they had some kind of deal like that it was supposed to happen like that. And what you call it was supposed to be doing a show, Kid and Play was supposed to be doing a show, I think, with NBC. But they canceled their cartoon and they wanted their cartoon to keep going. So they said no to the show and some shit, like whatever. So alternate reality, they say that could have went down. I think it could have been dope either way. I think everybody would have. I think we'd have, you know what I'm saying? Huh? They had a Marvel comic? Yeah. Kid and Play was hot. It was going crazy. Shout out Bo Jackson. Shout out Michael Jordan, the pro stars. Wayne Gretzky. Yeah. They was on there. You don't know the pro stars? No, listen, the pro stars was Michael Jordan, Bo Jackson, and Wayne Gretzky. So they had them on a cartoon, and they were superheroes. And Wayne Gretzky ain't do shit. But he was on the team. My boy, you play hockey. Ain't ice everywhere. No. Bo Jackson had to do all the work. He played two sports. That's how they saved money. He was football and baseball. What other characters black without saying it? You said what? Oh yeah, Skeeter. So all the colored people on Doug black. 
his neighbor with the big nose. Yeah, the purple, the purple nigga with the big nose. So the green nigga, he ain't black? Roger ain't black? Why he ain't black? He black, bro. He green. He had red hair, like Malcolm X and, and, and Classic Man. He, he, got, he got a Classic Man hairstyle. He, he, you know what I'm talking about. He got just, I'm a Classic Man. <laughs> That's Roger Klotz. He just slicked this shit down. Detroit Red. That ain't real? Man, you act like black folks ain't got red hair. So he ain't black. Okay, so only, only, so what, what hue? So he, he white, he green. Okay. Who else? BB? She black? Okay. Okay. But they ain't had no black people on there. So Doug's sister black. She looked the blackest. She a Rachel, though she she the lady that, that changed races. Yeah, <laughs> she a Rachel Dolezal. She changed her race. That's crazy. All right. What about what you call him? Daffy Duck. Uh, he ain't black. You say he black? Yeah. I count him black. What about Mr. Krabs? Mr. Krabs? I don't know, man. No. <laughs> yeah, he was cheap, but he ain't black. He, a, he another ethnicity. Don't say it. No, I'm just. <laughs> I'm going to get everything canceled. Whatever you say, it don't matter. It's going to be the wrong shit. <laughs> All right. All right, let's do it. No, Davy Duck definitely black. About his money. Loud. Big lips. Talk shit all the time. Motherfucker got erased and still talk shit. Man, he got his beak shot off and still talk shit. His beak be talking. His beak be over here. Bow! Wow, this is a predicament. This shit crazy. He not going nowhere, bro. I'm going to talk my shit, dog. That's Marvin the Martian Black, too. He just from a different country. That's why he pull out that big ass gun. I'm going to evaporate you. Man. You think Kermit was black? You think he gentrified? Oh, that's why he chased that white woman. He chased that, he chased that white meat. Hey, y'all know me, man. English majors. Prize picks. We together again. They got a new promo code for y'all. Very easy to use. Five gets you 50. $5 gets you $50 to use on prize picks. Easiest way to play fantasy. All you got to do is pick a square. Pick if you want that player to do more or less. You prize pick it. If you win it, you're going to get something. They got you. It's easy. Five gets you 50. Code English majors, right? English majors. Just you. If you don't know how to spell it, boy, you know the rest. You shouldn't be here. All right? Prize picks. Easy. I came up, man. I, I pick all across the board. I put some baseball with the football, mix that with the soccer, throw in the WNBA, and get my parlay rolling like that. I'm trying to get my X up. How many? 28X? That's not enough. I'm trying to do 100X. I'm trying to turn a little to a lot, okay? Make a plan into a plot. You understand. Prize pigs. Simple. Mm-hmm. Is it impossible that we can't celebrate both the Atlanta film team and 
Yeah, stop trying to watch the shit while the game on. What the hell? There's plenty of other times to go watch it. If you want to watch it, then find out the story. If, who is this, a woman? I hope. I hope it's a woman. That's a ma Oh, okay. Thank you, Tasha. Because I was about to say, boy, hey, stop trying to watch movies while the game on or get you another TV. You're going to get your ass whooped, man. Look, you want to enjoy the movie? Watch the game like it's a movie, but you got to know the story going on, man. Go watch it with 30 for 30. That's like a movie about sports. Any given Sunday, shout out to all them. They really fought on set. They did. It showed in the movie. That's what I'm telling you, man. Look, all I know is if you want to make the game interesting, you better get on prize picks, man. Look, uh, I'm finally on the prize picks. I'm getting picks all across the board. The Falcons ain't let me down, man. My boy Drake London came through. Got them goddamn catches I needed. You understand? Then I'm jumping over. I'm crossover. I, I don't know how y'all do it. Do y'all just do it all one sport? Because prize picks, all you got to do is pick a square. You got to pick a player, and you pick what you want them to hit. Are they going to do more? Are they going to do less? However they got it. It's not hard. You can win money. Easy. I won money when I lost. But look, all right, look, prize picks, easy to do. I went all across the board. Um, I went crazy with the, uh, I, I went with Shohei, Shohei Otani on the MLB, made him hit the batter score, got Drake London in there for one. Um, what was, let me see, let me go back and find it. Cause I gotta see the ones that I actually, my past lineups. And they got a code too for your first time. They ain't give me no code. You get a code though, but they ain't give me no code. I came in, it, 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 it took money immediately. Prize picks. Oh yeah, there you go, there you go, there you go. I had Shohei Otani, I had my man Justin Jefferson, and then I had a soccer player, Erling Hala Hala Land. That shit hit for me, man. You know what I'm saying? What that get me? What'd that give me? Oh, it was a little something. It was like some 20 something dollars. But then I had another one come in, man. Saquon Barkley, Andy Dalton, and Kyler Murray all showed their ass, did what they were supposed to do. And the Lamar Jackson came on through. Yup. Oh, yeah, that's the one with the Drake London. Yup. And then I had Mookie Betts, Alvarez. Yeah. Prize picks is easy. I'm actually looking at me being, I'm not up, I'm even. But I had fun watching the game. There's more money to win out there. And if you're hating on a player, let the hate. Put your money where you hate at. Hate on them with the pick. Bet against them. Don't just hate on the motherfucker at the barbershop. Bet against them. You don't like the Cowboys? Put it on the paper, man. You nodding your head like you don't fight. Yeah, you know we don't. What happened last night, man? Look, the, the Falcons, I don't know. What I see why they giving you free everything. <laughs> the Falcons, free hot dogs. You get a, a refill of everything. Bring your own cup. We don't give a fuck. <laughs> we are so sorry. What the fuck is going on, man? We gonna get it together, though. But prize picks, look, man, if you gonna hate on the team, at least make it hate. Pay. You understand? Hate what you pick. Pick a square, and that's just a player. Look, break this down real simple. Prize picks, you go download the app, right? Get the app. You pick a person, then you pick another person. You can stop right there. You pick them to do whatever you want them to do in the game that's coming up. If they hit, you win. It's that simple. You can pick up the six people across a variety of sports. You got everything. Baseball, football, video games that I ain't never heard of, League of Legends. I won me some money and I don't even know what this shit is. Sometimes you just got to go with the spirit. I, I lost, I lost, I bet on General Booty. 
You don't never bet on General Booty, man. Like, I just, the name, I figured he had to be good. I figured he was going to go crazy. Shout out to General Booty. You just did not, you, you didn't help me. General Booty, that's a charge, ain't it? You'll go to jail for General Booty. He was out there, that's a form of prostitution. Listen, <laughs> prize picks. What you do with your winners is up to you. <laughs> hey, English majors, we got another one coming. Thank y'all for stopping in, man. Uh, go support any type of goddamn black cinema. And white people, we love y'all movies too. We got, we got a whole episode for white cinema too that black people like. Scarface is on that bitch, believe it. We got all type of shit coming. White people, if you feel left out, then imagine how we felt when we watched all the Star Wars movies until we saw Billy D. Williams. Don't get mad about representation. And when we represent, y'all want to get mad with us too. Let us do what we do. Let's go. What we got? Oh, Channel 85, subscribe. English majors. Go to it, man. Subscribe to the English Majors thing. Make sure you hit the like, hit a comment. I didn't know you were supposed to say that. I forgot. That's a YouTube thing to say. <laughs> like, comment, subscribe, brush your teeth, wash your ass. Don't just, yeah, like, <laughs> self-care. Care for yourself. If you like this shit, like you. We'll see you real soon, like Mickey would say. He's going to send a cease and desist. We're going to get sued. I hope you're ready for it, because I got Disney Plus, so they can sue me. I can't sue them. Nah, we out of here. Let's do it.